Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. We are in a brand new month, okay? The month of September definitely went out with the bang. And yesterday, there was a bunch of drama brewing, okay? So what went down is that Jeffree Star... Yes, him, the makeup guru. He was trending all last night behind a bunch of nonsense. So this is what went down. Basically, earlier in the day, after, as you guys remember, I was live streaming. And I had, you know, somebody told me, breaking news, Jeffree Star and his black boyfriend broke up. And I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? You know, because they were acting like they were so in love not even two weeks ago. But okay. So after I got off the stream, people started sending me screenshots. And those screenshots were basically Jeffree Star accusing, you know what I'm saying, his so-called boo or his ex-boo, honey, of robbing him. So this is what um, Jeffree Star said underneath um, his comment section. The guy writes, guess I'm back on here again. Drop your snaps and add me. So Jeffree Star comes on and he says, hey, since you can't answer the phone right now, can you give me all the stuff back that you stole from my house? What kind of low life fucking scum does that? Give it back. If you need a return label, just ask. So that is what Mr. Star wrote. And of course, folks were dying, honey. Everybody was like, oh, my God, Jeffree Star got robbed. And it was like all these rumors. It was just a bunch of craziness. Right. So now on top of that, what ended up happening is that Jeffree Star called himself wanting to spill tea. He went on a huge, you know, Three minute rant yesterday via Snapchat where he basically accused the dude Andre of stealing like Louis Vuitton luggage and a few other things. And then he, you know, goes on to say that you guys should understand how this feels. A lot of us play the fool sometimes. You know, I had no idea that he didn't have a job. He didn't have, you know, even a checking account. And to me, that sounded a little bit far fetched. OK, um, the guy at one time played, you know, professional ball overseas. He also has a new baby. He was with his baby baby's mother so you mean to tell me you didn't do a background check you just seen that big old peen that was the size of a damn remote control honey and went damn crazy that is your fault you got way too much money and way too many damn resources to begin that sprung over peen when you have stuff to lose you do a background check you thoroughly investigate people and you find out who the fuck you're dealing with so i'm not even trying to hear any of that that he's saying that he had no idea and the dude was broke and all this other stuff how does a broke guy even get in your inner circle That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, hello, you guys. All right. I did not plan on coming on here today for a little chat. But, bitch, we're going to have a motherfucking chat, honey. So grab a Red Bull and let's dive in because I just hopped on Twitter and there's a lot of Jeffree Star got robbed. Jeffree Star got this and that. Bitch, let me tell you what the fuck Jeffree Star did and didn't do. (laughs) Listen, bitch. I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate, but sometimes... When you meet people, (gasps) surprise, they're not who they say they are. (laughs) So y'all, real quickly, bitch, Jeffrey Lynn got a little played. So I've been hanging out with someone, just two grown adults having sex and chilling, nothing serious. But I was presented a whole different person than than who this man really was. So, and that's fine. Y'all, y'all, y'all know out there. I'm sure a lot of you out there have dated or dealt with or even hung out with some shady ass people. And yes, bitch, it happened to me. (laughs) So about a week ago, Jeffrey Lynn uh, discovered a lot of things. And this person uh, secretly had no job, no money, not even a bank account. And we're talking this person's 30 years plus. So all these things that I were told were all false. Um, and I was lied to, and I was like, okay, bye, sweetie. It was really good meeting you. Thanks. Bye. Um, and then all of a sudden, there's some Louis Vuitton, uh, luggage missing. Um, there's some backpacks missing, and there's a few sunglasses missing. So, Jeffrey Star got robbed. No, someone just stole a, a few things. Now, I know. Jeffrey, you can just rebuy it. I'm not complaining about no value, no money. It's just a principle. I don't care if someone steals a nickel off your counter. It's wrong. Um, And if you revel and enjoy anything, 
if you enjoy bad news for anyone, including me, you're, you're sick. Because I logged on Twitter and y'all, some people are like, yes, someone got him, fuck him. I'm like, bitch, there's a special place in hell for you. Um, but yeah, so some designer shit got stolen from me and it, it isn't about what it is it's just about the principle it's just sad um so instead of answering the phone this person was just posting like they were still at my house driving uh, a car that they moved once in the parking lot i'm like this shit was so weird so i just wanted my stuff back it's all good i'm sure i'm never gonna get it i know i can go rebuy it tomorrow um it's just weird and i'm not a, about being around weird energy and if you're not doing anything with your life i can't be around that bitch i'm a boss ass bitch i'm a scorpio i don't do that energy like if you're not a go-getter and you don't have a fucking like a life i, I just didn't want to be around it it's just two adults that went their separate ways but bitch can i have my shit back but on a real level bitch you know i'm always unbothered and at the end of the day you got to talk to god about your faith not me i i don't i don't gotta deal with it so anyways after he blasted him Andre was like, you know what? I'm not playing with you. You know, you want to keep telling my business and trying to make me out to be a robber and, and a thief. I'm going to have to go ahead and spill the tea. So what happened is that Andre took to this account. Now, there was some confusion. Some people were saying that this is his backup account. Other people were saying that it was his real account. Honey, I don't know. But basically, whoever was running this account, they stated this. They had made a circle of Jeffree Star basically viewing the stories, proving that, okay, Andre definitely has to be running this because why would Jeffree Star be in this person's, you know, snap stories, viewing everything. So they circled that. And then it says, shall I tell the people? Then they go on to say, you have an hour to delete them off of Snapchat, 100. Then they say, it's crazy because I'm a real genuine person and I really didn't want it to get to this point. Let's just say this is going to ruin you. Then he says, your last guy left because you fucked his close friend. And that's sad. Not to mention. Then he goes on to say, I found something in your room as well. Care if I share it with your supporters. Then he says, the list goes on, but I wouldn't want to make you deactivate. Then he went on to post a DM of basically Jeffree Star sending his lawyers after him. It says, you wanted this, just delete them off of Snapchat, and this is settled. Um, and it shows a message from Jeffree where he's saying, my lawyer screenshotted your threats, and you signed a non-disclosure agreement where you cannot say my name or post any photos. I don't get why you won't just give me my stuff back. You put my health at risk, and all I showed you was respect. So that kind of, you know what I'm saying, raised some red flags. And then he went on to post a picture of his damn peen next to a damn remote control. And he titled it Netflix and Chill, honey. Okay, looks like he was definitely working with a little something, something. Hence why Jeffree Star went crazy and didn't do a thorough check on who he allowed into his damn bedroom. But now the smoking bomb is this. While he was outing Jeffree, he decided to post a picture. And the picture says, the main symptoms of AIDS. And then it has, you know, it's pointing to the brain, the lungs, the skin, the gastrointestinal area. But on that picture, it says someone can relate. Meaning, allegedly, that somebody's supposed to be Jeffree Star. Plus, with the other message of Jeffree saying that you put my health at risk, a lot of people are now putting two and two together and saying, oh, my gosh, you know, Jeffree has AIDS. Now, let me just say this, Okay. Regardless, if you like Jeffree Star, if you don't like him, if you think he's, you know, evil, you know, he doesn't deserve his success, just however you feel, that's irrelevant. I do not believe in outing anybody's medical business and only people who are the lowest of the low do shit like that. OK, regardless if this man has AIDS, HIV, you know, syphilis, chlamydia, just whatever. That is his medical business. That is why there's such things as HIPAA laws. And you're not allowed to just disclose. I mean, that's a bombshell that he dropped. And you're doing that towards a very powerful influencer. I'm sure that he would definitely come back with a vengeance. Okay. Now, once that was posted, Jeffrey Star deleted everything. He deleted the video, the one I just played you guys. Um, he also deleted any like, you know, messages. Basically, he went black. He went black on Instagram and he went black on Snapchat for a while. I think he's back up now. But like as of last night, he went totally dark. So a lot of people were saying that he went black. 
because it was the truth and he was embarrassed and everything else. So the whole situation is just really crazy. Another thing the guy also said is this. You miss Nate, but you fucked his friend. I don't understand. You didn't even tell your supporters you hit me up, offering me all types of expensive things for my time. I have proof of what I posted. I have your name on paperwork, your name on pill bottles, etc. We can do this all night. So he also posted that, and that was another situation that made people really look at this situation like, wow, there must be some truth to it. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.